Hello guys, it's Jackman. Shout out to everybody out there, man. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, let's get into this, man. So today we're going to check out a video from Abba and Preach, man. It's called Fresh and Fit Clown Respond Horrible. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's up with these uh, half a mil, man. We're going to check <laughs> check this video out, man. Um, yeah, half a mil are losers. <laughs> I mean, like, it made no sense, man. So yeah, with that, man. Uh, subscribe. Check out the original video. Definitely check out check out the original video. Um, and uh, yeah, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And um, yeah, with that, here we. Okay, today's topic. We got a fresh and fit clone who got yeah. a video recently. Yeah, I think I seen this guy before. Talking about the single moms, and it turned out he was with a single mom and all yeah, this stuff. Yeah, they all man, hypocrites. A black man playing stepdaddy to some white kids. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> they, it's always yeah. dumb, bro. They be preaching yeah, cool. stuff they don't live by, man. Hypocrites. These guys are not even gonna come up with their own thing, just biting off Kevin Samuels. Yeah, that's fresh it. And fit, then I'm not even gonna bother to learn their name and spin that shit. Isn't there an irony about a fraud calling his podcast no fugazi? <laughs> Isn't that like a next level irony? Ah, uh, that's great. That if these guys, everybody got a if podcast. These guys that's a problem. Aware, they'd actually be hilarious people. Yes. So he comes out, and basically he starts going after everybody who came for him, and he's like, "You guys are low IQ. You don't know what you're talking about." Choice is in two dollars. So why haven't you married her yet? 2016 is 2024. Low IQ people. So let's go take a listen to what this no fugazi is. Low IQ people. This is your last chance. After this, there's no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends. Oh, the story ends. And people really take these guys serious as a problem. With the chimey music, bro. People <laughs> take these guys serious. You have to understand. This is your last. Sorry. <laughs> you have to understand this is your last chance oh man it's just you know what, <laughs> what? for all acting and pretending oh, let's do okay. it probably. all right <laughs> all right you... let's begin today tell me about this blue pill red pill shit you take the blue pill the story ends you wake up in your bed and you believe whatever you want <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. No. <laughs> hey, yo. No way, bro. It's the Morpheus thing. No way. You were just laughing because you plugged in. Let's listen, bros. No you way. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I'll show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. <laughs> no way. It's been a lot of noise in these streets. And we're going to explain and expose all the misinformation and propaganda that these reaction channels is doing about Cooley and Ophugazi. One of my tenets are manipulation happens when you focus on the effects instead of going to the root, the cause of things. Oh and many boy. viewers out there have been manipulated by watching these reaction channels from these big platforms. And that was the edited version of the clip. So here's the full version of the clip. That is the truth. Okay, so since I we're speaking about, about going broke none of that. So since you we're believe, speaking about. You believe you're a top tier man? By what standard? By what standard? Mm -hmm. well, I'm, not I'm, relationship. I'm not speaking about myself. But well, I'm, I'm, relationship. I'm not speaking about myself. As you can see in that clip, I never said I was a top tier man. So, so, so yeah. when you say when you say let, I'm gonna let you do the math. <laughs> <laughs> what are you okay so you're saying i'm not saying i'm not a talk i'm not talking about me i'm not talk i'm talk i'm not talking about me okay i'm not saying I'm but i'm well, six do the math do the math i make this yeah. just stop. Talking, stop i was just stop. talking nah, in nah. here now nah, listen here i'm not saying i'm a top tier youtuber but the metrics of a top tier youtuber are where's the purple jacket works in a duo is black wearing shades now i'm not saying <laughs> but i'll let you do the man you know what i'm saying now i never said i was a top tier you know i never did it i never did it but you know purple jacket a little bit of uh what's this she it's a little bit of she i don't hear it under that but <laughs> Like, Shut dude, your ass up, bro. Dude, but, but, well, I don't even want to interpret nothing. I don't do. I, I don't want to interpret nothing. You know what? Let's do this. You don't. You've never claimed to be a top tier man. You never be claimed to be top tier, top dog, right? I don't have that mindset that think that. Oh, I'm this guy right now. I'll put it like this. Right now, where I'm at in myself in my life, I know that if I wanted to be out in these streets and be promiscuous, 
I'll be doing damage to a lot of women. It's going to be very hard to measure up to a nigga like me. Maybe some years ago, I didn't really have the confidence, but now it's like, it's going to be extremely hard for a woman to find a man that's better than me. And guess what? I know this because she ain't going to never find another nigga that's better. It's going to be extremely hard. Next guy she find better than me. <laughs> About myself, bro, I don't, I'm not the type of guy that, you know, big and boast about himself. Lies. Lies. Bro, you know what you're doing right now? You're doing, like, in your video, you're doing negative gatekeeping. Yeah. He's doing full gazy. Yes. That's what you're doing. That is exactly what you're doing. I don't even understand the point of this. If you think you top dog, then just say it. Why are you doing this fake humble thing because you're getting called out? You look two-faced. You look like a clown. That's why your fan base calling you out. Yes, that's what you think you are. It's like the fresh and fit clowns, right? They were calling everybody betas. And then everyone kept referring to them to alpha males. And they were like, I never said I was an alpha male. Then why are you calling people betas? Are you trying to insult people mm -hmm. with what you think you are? And now you're asking us to delete our memory, to forget what we're hearing. Yeah, exactly. And listen to your dumb ass. Exactly. Saying, that's what they think. Alpha male thing. goofballs like this love saying, hey, women don't take it accountability well but, but women are emotional man don't take and accountability this dude is nowadays backwards like he's in Cirque du Soleil trying just to like me when you're wrong man it's in his own asshole hey yo I mean I feel like that's what them circus people always do it they have a ball hey, yo. but in my head I'm like you just wanted to sniff your butt didn't you <laughs> on, on on company time yeah on company time <laughs> like everyone clap me but ain't you just sniffing your butt I mean I sniff my butt too but I just go a quick wipe you know Whoa. we all do that sometimes what Whoa. you never like no, 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 no. Never? Absolutely Can't. not. Can't. Absolutely Is not. Is this one of them situations where everyone pretends they didn't do something that we've all done? No, no not we all have done. You do. <laughs> let's, let's stop. You know, pretend like we're not part of the crew. Oh my god. It's just no. to be able to check, like, oh, is my shit sank? Okay, I, I gotta go take care of that ASAP. This, yo, this, you're doing some negative gatekeeping. You make, this motherfucker make me think of a single mother that don't have, like, that, that just, that get a call from the baby dad. You know, the, the, the negative gatekeeping is, hello? Ugh. Hey, your father. You didn't call the kid's father an asshole, but your whole demeanor. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to say stuff mm -hmm. to say stuff. Yeah, you're right, you're right. As you can also see in that clip, the woman she spoke about values. So what that woman just stated was manipulation. Bro, if you say manipulation like that one more time. Manipulation. 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 Y'all have been manipulated. I don't mind it. No, I don't mind it. Uh, I appreciate you being patient with that shit. I mean, that's because you're being manipulated right now. No, nah, it's not because I'm being manipulated. It's just because, you know, sometimes the par par parameters are different. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're trying to manipulate the crowd. <laughs> manipulate the crowd and listen to what the fuck is saying. Sorry. But this is the dude that y'all follow, fellas. This is the, this is the rhetoric that y'all yeah. subscribe to from hypocrites so as you all just hypocrites. They are clip, hypocrites it shows that oh well cooley is saying these things about not dating a single mom but he's actually dating one so hypocritical well let's actually play some clips where i always speak about these things on my podcast and i've never lied about my life and i have almost two million followers on tiktok where it shows my personal life so how can they be exposing anything when I put this out there for the world to see. And I've spoke about these things many times. That's why podcast. these dudes are You're hypocrites. 18 percentile, like myself. I have full custody of my kid, right? Difference between me and you is I met my girl when we were, we got together when we were 25. Yeah. So yes, we both had children. So we came into the relationship with children, but I was young and she was young. You get what I'm saying? Oh, I so I didn't have to build on anything. We were kind of just young together, figuring things out. Okay, so now you just heard that clip where you got the truth now. Now let's get into another clip where I actually tell men that don't have any kids not to date single moms. Men that do have kids that have full custody of their kids, that's an exception to the rule if you have... No, it ain't no exception to no rules, man. percent of fathers win custody battles. So you're in the exception, man. And when you have full custody of your kid, women that don't have kids necessarily don't understand the obligations that it takes when having kids. There's many red flags that those single moms be having. So still try to avoid them. But if you can find one that doesn't have all of those red flags, but you have a kid, maybe it's not a bad idea. But still, it's nonsensical to even say because generally speaking, most of them do. I just happen to be the exception to the rule, and my guy oh, will be the exception to the rule. With that being said, with that being said, I still recommend you guys. <laughs> All this yeah, here just to say I'm the exception, and she's the exception. Exception. Right. You know yeah, exactly. You know what that is? Rules for thee, not for me. You know what that yeah, is? Yeah, it is. It is. Multiverse.
That's what that's what that is. Yeah, this is the Marvel that's, version of the multiverse. Yeah, multiverse. Yeah, that's right. What it is. You know what? This speech he's giving right now isn't the worst. The problem is that when these guys run their podcast and they infer these women, they flagrant. And when women claim that they're the exception to the rule, these guys clown the women. They laugh at them. Everybody thinks they're the exception to all these rules. Everybody thinks they're the exception to every kind of problem, right? And the problem is you've just been out here being loud and disrespectful to people based off of your rigid ideology. So you want to be given the grace that you don't give to half the single moms you invite on your pod? What if they all feel like they did accept you to the rule? You don't know their life. So realistically, if your value is high enough and you can dictate a lot of terms in a relationship, don't date any single moms. You get a kid without any, you get a woman without any uh, kids. If you have a kid and your value is high enough to still dictate terms in a relationship, still don't get a woman with kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's the nah, time that's the little baby kid, nah, bro. Nah, nah, that see? is real. You see? Because, okay, like the woman said on the panel, if you fall in love with Lil Ray Ray and then she breaks up with you, Go and on. now you can't even, you know, and you raise Lil Ray Ray, now you can't even see Lil Ray Ray. Um, and then a uh, Poor Lil Ray Ray. That if you're in a relationship with a single mother, um, normally, if your value isn't high enough and she doesn't admire you and look to you for, you know, uh, guidance and stuff like that, she's not going to let you discipline her kids. She's going to be like, oh, no, hit my babies. Those I babies. agree with that. I agree with that. He's right. He's right. Absolutely right. This is about being able to hit kids. <laughs> no, no, no. He's right about that part, though. He's I mean, right he's about that part. Like that. No, he's definitely right about that. If part. you're not high value enough, she won't look up to you and she won't let you hit her kids. You can't whoop them in the mat. Wait, is that what this is about? Yeah, you got some. Um, normally, in most situations, so you want to make sure your value is high enough uh, so you can dictate certain terms in a relationship. Where if you are going to date a single mother and you don't have any kids, it'll go smooth. But I don't recommend doing it. Don't do it at all. If you do have a kid. It may be, oh, it, here's where it would be okay to date a mother that has a kid because, to date a woman that has a kid, because then it's like, okay, she has a kid already, so she knows how to give love to kids. She already knows how to nurture already. So there's pros on that side. If you're, if you're a man and you have a kid dating a woman that has a kid too, it'll be some pros there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be a lot of pros with the kids can have a kid, another kid to play with. It's a multitude of things. You'll see if you are that man that has a kid and you're going to choose to date a woman that has another kid. But, uh... Yeah, man, just stay away from single moms. <laughs> Essentially, you know, listen, he's going to talk guy. however he wants to talk. He'll say this whatever guy. he wants to say. He says because he got a kid and makes his lifestyle okay. Here's what I'll say. Maybe you just don't spend all that time on your podcast shitting on single moms. Yeah. You can make all the exceptions. Yeah. You can try to yeah. put all the little caveats in the rules. You can explain it how you want. You can you can try to squeeze it how you want it. Pause. You can try to <clears throat> finesse Pause. your way. People don't see it. People are not that stupid. Also, I'm glad that people are not that stupid and they can see it. Uh, no, I think a lot of people still see it. That was still, always still, still stupid. He said character because single mothers normally don't have good character, generally speaking, because they chose the wrong man, meaning that they normally broke up the relationship. They oh, initiated the breakup. <laughs> so they, it, they show poor, single moms show the worst characteristic traits, to be honest. I'll tell you, I'll explain why. Because... If they had good characteristic they traits, the they guy. would be with the baby father. That's so, not. does your girl got bad character? I'm the exception. And she's, and the, she's exception. the exception too. She left for a valid reason. All the other single moms? Nah. Trash. Nah. Come right. on, yeah. And what about you? Do you have good character? Because you could make it. Now, I'm not going to make any aspersions on your character. I don't know the situation. Maybe maybe the baby mom's drug addicted. Maybe she passed away. Who knows? Who you knows? don't know. But you're comfortable talking about single moms so confident without knowing their situation. Yeah, so exactly. So you want to be seen as yep. an individual, right? And you want to be given some grace. Then generalize everybody else. Life and whatever's going on. And that's fair. But you don't accord that to other people. I just think that's interesting. You want everyone to everybody treat else. you the way you don't Different. treat everybody yep. else. Everybody's a group. I'm the exception. Yeah. You top tier? I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I don't give. A, I do not give a fuck. But I think we're top tier. As, as a YouTube duo. That's a different thing. As as a, we're, we're the I'm not, 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 listen, I'm we're, not saying. Listen, I, I, I'm already working. I'm not. I'm not saying we're top tier. But you know what I'm saying. If you two black males, approximately close to the same height, you know, one wearing a purple jacket, one wearing a black <laughs> jacket, both got forms of glasses. Uh, right? One with dreads, one with yeah. short hair, just to contrast it. Those are the metrics that a YouTube bodies would look for in a top tier YouTube duo. You know I'm, I'm just gonna say one thing. Now I'm not saying that's us, but I'm I'll let you do the math. You know yeah, I'm do the math, bro. Yeah. Don't ever, under any circumstances, get an Ethiopian co-host. I'm the exception, but don't do it. <laughs> that was good. 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 I said I wasn't the exception. We're good, bro. We're good. 
<laughs> that damn floor, bro. That floor. They need to fix that damn floor. They're too damn rich not to so fix that damn say, floor. So when you say when you say um, so yeah, you man. That was it, bro. That was it, man. Hope you guys enjoy that. Um, yeah, that guy's a clown. Yeah, man. No fu fugazi, no fugazi, man. That's that's how most of these guys are. Um, hypocrites. That, that's all they are, man. They hypocrites. They they preach one thing and do the opposite. And that's why you can't believe these guys, bro. You can't like once the camera rolling, you're a different person, bro. Like, do not believe what you see on the internet at all, man. And the sad thing about this is these guys are pretty much educating a lot of youth, a lot of uh, young men to live a certain lifestyle that they don't live. You know what I mean? So that's it, man. Never believe these guys. Never idolize these people. These people are clowns. And um, they just there to make money at the end of the day, bro. They just there to make money. And that, that's the sad thing about it, man. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely check out the original video by Abba and Preach. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, share the video. And uh, leave a comment, man. With that, you boys out of here. Peace.